Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Security Administration, this is Richard. How can I help you? Somebody's using my Social Security. Uh-huh. I got a call that said somebody's using my Social Security for illegal purposes. And to call this number. Okay. So I don't know what's going on here. All right, sir. Yes. Uh, let me pull up the records and okay. the name. Can okay. I have your okay. Can I have your yes. first name and the last name, sir? First name is Frank, F-R-A-N-K. And your last name, sir? Falker, F-A-U-L-K-E-R, Frank Falker. F-A-U-N-K-E-R, right? F-A-U-L-K-E-R. Okay. All right. And Mr. Falker, can you verify me the last four of your social security number? Yeah, 1463. Okay. And uh, Frank, uh, can you verify me your date of birth? 3 1950 Okay. Now, Frank, okay. give me a moment. Let me pull up the records and the right. yarn name. Okay. Let me find out what happened in the yarn name, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you for holding the line. Frank, you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. Frank, this is Officer Richard Baker from Social Security Administration. And the reason you received this call from our department because we received an orders and notices from the Federal Law Enforcement Agency to suspend your social security number on immediate basis. As we What's have recovered some suspicious and criminal What's that mean? As we have recovered some suspicious and criminal activities under your name and under your social. So okay. do you have any knowledge? Do you have any information about that? About what? No. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, so no. Frank, do well, one thing. Can you grab yeah, Can you grab a pen and paper handy so that you Go ahead. Go ahead. Speak. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got a paper here. Go ahead. Okay. Now, Frank, first of all, note okay. down my name. Okay. Officer Richard Baker. Richard Baker. Okay. Now, note down my ID number that is B for Bravo. S for Sam. 1121. One one two one. Okay. Can you read the uh, my badge ID? One one two one. I told you before. It's a B for Bravo, S for Sam. One one two one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now note down your case. Your case number. Okay. That is D as in David. C as in Charles. Seven zero one zero eight nine. Okay. All right. Can you read the case number again? DC seven zero one zero eight nine. Great. Now, okay, Frank, at good. this moment, I want to ask you this question. Okay. Where are you at the moment? Are you at home or are you at work? Well, yeah, I'm at home. I don't work. I'm retired. Oh, you don't work, right? No, don't work. I'm retired. So how many how many bank accounts do you have? One. Just the one. Yeah. So which bank do you deal? I deal with Titty Bank. Just the TD bank, no other banks, right? No, just TD. Okay. And you have a check-ins account, you have a savings account? I or got both? both, both. Okay. So, uh, if you don't mind, may I ask you, like, uh, what is the current balance in your check-ins account? Like, approximate idea? About 300. That's a 300. And what about the savings, sir? About 1,000. 1,000. Okay, and uh, do you have any credit cards under your name? Yeah, I got a Visa. Credit card. I'm asking you about the credit card. That's what it is, a Visa not credit a card. Debit. Huh? What? No, not a debit card of a, not a debit card of a TD Bank, okay? What, uh, what are you asking? A credit card? Yeah, a credit card. Yeah, I got a Visa. Okay. You just have one credit card or multiple credit cards? No, I only got one. I only need one. Okay. And uh, do you know the limit? Limit on your credit card? How much is the limit on there? I think it's like 3000 Okay. And did he use all of the limit or like oh, did he yeah. maxed out? Or, uh, no, I used it all. Is it available? Any available limit no, on there? No. There is no available limit on there? No. I used it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So you just have one bank account and one credit card, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. And do you have any investment under your name, like a 401k, IRA, or a oh, no, money market? I, I, I don't know that shit. No. You don't have any of this, right? No. Okay. Just hold on for a moment, Frank. Okay. All right, Frank, you there? Yeah. 
Okay, Frank, right now you are on the recorded conversation by the Federal Trade Commission and by the Department of Justice. By the what right? commission? So now... I, I didn't hear what commission. Federal Trade Commission. Federal Trade Commission. Okay, go ahead. Yes. So uh, can you verify me your social security number again? The whole thing or the last four? Yeah, the whole. Because right now you are on the recorded conversation. 0861010463. All right, just give me a moment, Frank. Just give me a few seconds. Let me pull out the records okay. and the your name why you received this call from Yeah, the yeah, I got to figure this out. Okay, go ahead. All right, hold on. Thank you for holding the line. Mr. Falker, are you there? I'm here. Okay. Now, Frank, I'm just going to give you the whole information in details. All right, you got a case number, right? Yeah, I got the case number you gave it to me. Okay. And are you disabled, Frank? No, I'm just retired. I'm 70. Okay, and are you on the Social Security? Yes. Okay, all right. Just give me a moment. Okay, now, Frank, the investig like, let me give you the information which I got on your paperwork from the headquarters, all right? Oh, and okay. just make sure that these okay. lines are recording so you don't have to, you have to be honest over this oh, okay. conversation, yeah, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah, I don't even know what's going on, so. All right. Now, Frank, the investigation started under your name when we found an abandoned vehicle at the south border of Texas. It was a red-colored Honda Civic 2008, which was reported by the locals. Huh. They found some blood and drugs inside that vehicle, and the I, vehicle was rented under your name and under your social. Well, I, didn't, I don't have a red Honda. No, I'm not asking you that you have that or not, okay? Oh. But I'm asking that the vehicle was rented in the young name in which we have found those things, okay? Oh, okay. All right. Now, when the local sheriff investigated that vehicle further, they didn't, like, uh, they found there were several addresses which were linked to that vehicle. One of the addresses was 5174 Richmond Avenue, Houston, Texas, 77056. Now, Frank, do you know this address? Have you ever been to the state of Texas? Oh, I've been, been in Texas, yeah. I used to live down there. All right. Yeah, so do you I, know that address? Uh, that it, no, no. I was in Lukenbach. I was in a, a two-man quartet with my mm -hmm. friend Willie, and we worked up bars and honky-tonks down that way. But we weren't used mm -hmm. to We were in Lukenbach, me and Willie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, now Frank, uh, let me go ahead and let me read the further details, okay? Okay. Now, when the local authorities, uh, the sheriff, investigated that apartment, they didn't find anyone over there, but they found huh. uh, seven pounds of cocaine, which is a uh, banned abusive drug, and they have also got some documents of some major banks, like a Bank of America, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, PNC Bank, and TD Bank. TD, and that's from my this bank. Many TD bank, bank. Account, they have got Sorry? That's my bank, Titty Bank. Okay, listen to me. Let me complete, okay? Oh, okay. Well, now, I'm nervous, sir. from those sorry. many... Sorry? I'm nervous. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, all right. You're nervous, so you have to uh, take care. Goodbye. Pardon me? Okay. No, I didn't hear you. What did you... You're nervous, right? Yeah. Why? Because you're saying all this stuff under my name. Yeah, was it you in the Houston, Texas, who no, was uh, dealing with the No, I wasn't in Houston. No, no, no. I haven't been to Texas in years. So who has done that drug trafficking then? I don't, I don't have any idea. Oh, my God. I know. Okay. Now, they have got these five bank accounts under your name, under your social information from where? A multiple wire transfers were done. It was a $95,000 of money was wired locally and internationally to two different people, and John Ruby Gonzalez, and the other is Pedro Sandoval. Do you know that people? Have you heard these names? What was the second one? I, I don't know either one. Pedro Sandoval. No, Pedro I, Sandoval. I don't know him. Okay. Now, Frank, at this moment, why we are calling you? Because we already have checked your past history and past records. You don't have any criminal records under your name, you never committed any crime in the past, and you are a law-abiding citizen. But as far as your social informations were involved, they have put some allegations under your name, like a money laundering and a drug trafficking. Under my name? So, Frank, I... Yes, but you I do didn't... your personal details. 
kill informations were found, that's why, okay? Okay. Now, Frank, I want to ask you this question. Have you ever owned Honda Civic in your life? I wouldn't own a Honda Civic ever. A junk. Oh, okay. All right. Now, Frank, uh, you I don't buy American. have a car, but I got I American. I got a Ford F-150, American made. Which you got? A Ford F-150, made in America. Ford F-150, made in America, right? Four by four, yeah. All right. Okay. All right, now, Frank, did you ever lose your wallet in which you lose your ID cards, like your passport, your driving license, or your social security card and got it reissued? No, no, never lost none of that. You never lost it? No, no, I'm pretty good at taking care of stuff. Okay. All right, now, Frank, do you have any doubt on anyone, any friends, any family members, or any co-workers who try to access your personal detail for doing this kind of a fraud? My cousin's wife's sister's brother has been in trouble with the law, so, but I, I don't know how my social security number would get there, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any doubt on anyone, right? No, just my sister, my cousin's wife, sister's brother, but other than that, I don't know anybody that's been in trouble. Okay, no problem, Frank. Just uh, give me a moment. Let me uh, talk to uh, the higher authorities regarding okay. your situation. Okay. Because uh, you don't have any idea who can be behind that. Like it was, uh, according to you, it was not you, right? It wasn't me, that's for sure. Okay. And uh, we don't have any clue that who can be behind that because it was all your information which we have found that makes us to believe that it was you well, who has done you, these if, things, right? If you don't have a clue, I don't have a clue. All right, now just stay on the line. Let me uh, have some words uh, with the higher authorities, okay? Okay, okay. Hold on. All right. And uh, Frank, one more question. Are you sure that you just have one bank account and one credit card? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm retired. I don't have a lot of money. What would I, I do with more than one bank? Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Just uh, give me a few seconds. Stay on the line, okay? Okay. All right, thank you for holding me, Frank. You there? Yes, I'm here. All right, Frank, now uh, what I have to do, because uh, we have to uh, connect your line to the higher authorities from the Social Security Administration. Because Who's that? the officer from the higher authorities, uh, they're going to help you out in this Who's situation, how you can rectify the okay. situation, okay? All right, let me talk to them, I guess. So, all right, hold on for a moment. Okay. Thank you so much for being on the line. You have been transferred to senior officer. This is Steven Anderson. Can I have your case ID number? DC seven zero one no DC seven zero one zero eight nine. All right, thank you so much for that information. I believe I'm having a word with Mr. Frank Faulkner. Frank Faulkner, yes, that's me. All right. Before we proceed ahead with the conversation, I have to inform you our calls are recorded and monitored federally by Better Business Bureau and FTC, which stands for Federal Trade Commission. So whatever sentences and words you'll be using okay. kindly make sure it will be used okay. yes and it can be used as an evidence inside the courthouse so I hope my officers over here have already explained to you about the ongoing case on somebody your yeah social some, security number. somebody's using my social security number to run a Honda in Texas but I haven't been to Texas in years I, I mean I, I was down there years ago right do you suspect anybody well, I told I told uh, Richard that my cousin's wife's sister's husband is kind of shady, but other than that, I don't know anybody. But I don't even know how he how he would get my social security number. Right. Uh, well, <sighs> so you sus so you suspect your wife's brothers? No. I'm sorry. You suspect one of your yeah, my cousin's wife's right. sister's brother. Yeah. Bobby. The cousin's wife. Bobby is McGee. Under your yeah. relative. Bobby McGee, they call Bobby him. Bobby McGee. Yes. All right. So, and how do you think your social security number may have leaked with Mr. McGee? I don't know how he would have got it. I don't know. I, that's what I don't know. I mean, I'm not even saying it's him, but he's the only crook I know. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't make um, the case proceeding accordingly because. We need an evidence to show why they can be the real suspect. Oh. If you think... Uh, you want me to call them and ask them? I can call them. Um, 
I don't, no, it's I don't not, have to. Okay, I don't see, have his number. Any suspect won't agree that they did the crime. Oh, Are you won't. getting my point? I don't know. Maybe if I ask him. Right. I don't know. But so I, I haven't got his number anyway, so it don't make any difference. Right. Right. Okay. Well, I'll proceed ahead and I'll make sure to have a couple of information to verify. Yeah. Firstly, have you ever lost your wallet or any of your personal no, information in No, I No, I never lost anything. Okay. And I'll proceed further. Okay. And now I can let you know that currently the courthouse of Texas have decided to get your social security number suspended well, because that, yeah, it that's has what caused Rich, that's what Rich, significant I, I get so I, that's why I live on social security. I'm 70 years old. I got CPOD, and I need that money. I get Medicare and all that other stuff. Right. See, don't worry, because okay. it it doesn't mean that you won't be able to access your funds or something like that but what we're trying to let you know is there's three allegations currently charged on the social so i'm going to proceed further and let you know okay, that once we shut down then. your this current ongoing social security number we'll be allotting and providing you with the new one so your income won't be stopped oh, your benefits okay, okay yeah i need my continue. benefits here. okay right all right. So I'm going to proceed ahead okay, and based proceed. on the trail of evidence we receive, the three serious allegations currently shows for the felony drug offense such as money laundering, drug trafficking, and supporting terrorism activities. Supporting terrorism? So, well, who is supporting terrorism? Right. See, I'll explain you about okay, it. Okay, yeah. I Firstly, don't, I don't want money nothing to do with terrorism. Okay, okay sir. I'll... I'll just repeat this one more time. I'm, okay. When I'm proceeding further with the okay. information, can right. you make sure you have to oh, yeah. uh, provide me my time? Your time. Once okay. I'm done, you can have, right, once I'm done providing the information, you'll be uh, provided a fair enough chance uh, where you can speak up for your... Okay. Right? Well, yeah, but so I, when, you say terror terror when you say terrorism, I don't want nothing to do with terrorism. It, it, okay, I'll let you know how it came through. Okay. Firstly... We found out that there are nine accounts linked on your social with a credit card. So upon investigating, we found that there were over 85,000 worth transactions being done both nationally and internationally. And internationally, it were being wired to all the drug-affiliated countries such as Mexico, Venezuela, Venezuela. and also... Um, right. So I can see over here it's Mexico, Colombia, and Venezuela. So apart from that, we also found this information that uh, there were a huge amount of drugs which we've been figured out. From the abandoned vehicle, we found the trace, and there was even a house which were rented on your social. So whoever the culprit is, they're really trying to proceed ahead, and some of the other way they're supporting the terrorist activities. So that's the reason the third point, which is supporting terrorism, act charge came through. Aww. So according to these allegations, the, currently the state courthouse of Texas have decided to get your social security number suspended as we found this information that it has been compromised. So what we're going to do, we will be appointing our officers from your local social security where they're going to be making an appointment with you. We'll be scheduling the time. They'll be coming at the appointment at your physical address. At my address. And then they will be providing you. What are they going to do right, here, they'll, be providing you paper. Hmm? they'll be providing you with the documentation, oh. which will have the proper criteria. Uh, okay. And criteria, once you go yes. through them, once you make your signature, yes. they'll be proceeding further and providing you with your new social security card tomorrow itself. Oh, okay. So... I'm going to make sure that I, I have your information over here, but still over this recorded line, we have to re-verify your oh, asset okay. verification. My ass, okay. Because, yeah, go ahead. Because once we shut down your control security number, everything right. linked on your social, including those nine account and eight credit card, will be freezed and it will be put oh, on for okay. further investigation. Oh. Okay. So that's why I have to fill up the verification form where we'll be declaring your assets and we'll make sure the every remaining whatever is left over after clarifying your assets will be considered as black money black and money. they'll be proceeded for the what's black money mean? right 
I don't know so, what that is. Black money is usually categorized for all those illegal activity. So uh, that's the other name for illegal activity, I never the black heard, money. I never because heard of it. Okay. Right, that's a government term. Oh, so okay. I have a set of questions I need to ask you. Firstly, the uh, the first question goes, on your current residence address where you're residing, is that on a rent or you own it? I own a what? Do you own your home or are you on a rent? No, I live in a senior living facility. All right. And give me one second. How many vehicles do you got on your name? I, I told Richard I got one vehicle. I got a Ford F-150. Four by four. Okay, just one vehicle. Thank you. Yeah, I don't have a Honda. He said there was something about a Honda, and but I, I don't have a Honda. I wouldn't have something not made in America. And then park. I buy American. Right. Correct. Now, apart from that, what's your class been showing class. your driver's license? What's my class? I don't know what that means. Your driver's license contain class such as R, D. Oh, it's D, classified. D, and M, C. You mean what the M, C stands for? Motorcycle. Is that for? A motorcycle. I got a motorcycle, oh. too. I'm Okay, you you only provided me the information about one car, so that's the reason I was. Ah, uh, see, I forgot about the, the motorcycle. Second. I got a Harley. I race it up and down and all okay. around, and I don't have any insurance on it. Right. Now, apart from that, I can also see if you hear the next question comes up regarding your financial institution. So, how many banks currently do you deal at this I, time? I told Rick just the one. Of bank. One bank. Sir, I told you already, this is the recorded line. We'll re verifying those information. Oh, I didn't realize we had to re verify and re verify. Okay. Correct. So you said that you just have one bank account where you have. One bank. You have one bank where you have two accounts. Correct. Right. I got your saving and checking information. So apart from your bank, do you have a credit card? If yes, how many? I got one credit card. One credit card, okay. And who issued you the credit card? Is that the same bank where you have yes. your saving and yes. checking? Yes, or? yes. So this goes by the name TD Bank, TD correct? TD Bank, yes. All right, one moment. No, okay. All right. So, M Mr. Faulkner, I have uh, successfully proceeded further. Okay. And I have recorded no. your information, but okay. by any chance, my last question goes. Do you have an IRA or 401k account by any chance? No, no, jeepers, I'm retired. I don't, I don't have that much money for one of them. All right, no problem. So at this time, I'm going to proceed ahead and submit this form to the courthouse along okay. with this recording we have so far. So I'll be receiving the approval for safeguarding your true belonging, and we can eliminate the rest of them. And also, they're going to be for a couple of seconds. I'm going to put you on a hold, so kindly maintain the line meanwhile. Okay. Okay? All right, just a moment.